How you going, you big bloody beautiful bastards? Here's me face. Today I'm doing a deep dive critical analysis of my industry, influencers. I know a bunch of you legends probably don't think of Aussie Man as an influencer, but I am influential. If I told you to finish your beer, you'd probably down it. If I told you that pair of shoes is shit, you'd stop wearing them. If I told you you should build a new house instead of buying a ready-made one, you'd probably build new. Anyway, look, this, this video is not about me. My channel's about other people. So without further ado, let's look at all the world-class influencing going on outside. Let's not lie, Sheila's in bikinis is one of the first things you think about when you think of influencers. Here we have a young lady showing us a lifestyle we all wish we had. Actually, pause it there. Destination fucked is not a lifestyle anyone wishes for. The ocean is like, what are you guys doing? Kapow! Go back to dry land, please. Oh, there's a bottom. I don't know if she's an influencer for bottoms or using crosswalks. Some days it's very hard to tell what you're being sold on the internet. Back to the beach, there's a bottom with raining money near it. I suppose the message is something to do with life saving. Oh, look at that bottom above well kept grass. Crikey. The bloke is like a cameraman for BBC. He's patient, he's committed to getting groundbreaking footage, and unafraid to get in close. The beach is used a lot to promote well being, mental health, connecting to nature. Here comes a big connection. <laughs> Balconies are huge when it comes to being influential. If you own a balcony, you can film on that balcony and basically sell people whatever the fuck you want. You know what fascinates me the most in the Bikini Sheila influencer genre is boyfriends with tech skills. They're deeply intriguing. I find them intriguing because they're everywhere, not just on balconies. BTSs are at the beach too, shuffling around on their knees to get the best angles. They constantly have to squat down. Many learn to walk backwards as part of their daily lives. This fella is doing tech work and co-starring in the direct to TikTok web release content. That's hard. He's basically like Mel Gibson making Braveheart in 1995. He's acting, he's directing, influencing is about multitasking. Maybe it's taken the place of indie filmmaking. Yeah, I don't know. I find myself thinking of the famous phrase, behind every great man is a great woman. Absolutely that's true. And I'd say in this day and age, it's also true that behind every great bikini Sheila influencer on the gram is a boyfriend with tech skills. <laughs> I'd be paranoid in that relationship though. I'd be like, do you love me? Do you? But do you? Do you actually love me? Or do you just love that I can bang out a 2 gig 4K H.264 12,000 bitrate file and have it uploaded like fucking like that on the internet? Nah, yeah, nah. Working together is great. Don't listen to me, okay? If you're a if you're a little couple that works together, that's great. My wife is like, you go do your shit alone. Some of us have real jobs, which, yeah, it's fair enough. It's a good roast. But influencing is hard alone. This Sheila in the snow is an example of that. Not only is she performing in real life inclement weather, she's also doing admin work on her phone, emailing, and packing away all the gear. Anyway, let's focus on silly happy fun times shit. Blokes mostly love being influencers for muscles. Jiggling pectorals do have their own place on the internet. They love the beach and dancing in packs as much as Sheila's do. Thrusting, that's a popular move. I don't know if it's monetizable though. Platforms might not deem it advertiser friendly. Is this a sponsorship for a chips brand or crisps or whatever you call them? That is not a responsible way to consume your tucker. It's bloody wasteful. An influencer for mermen. Wow. This is what we call targeting a niche market. It can be better than spreading yourself too thin and making broad content. He looks dehydrated. I don't think he's selling it to me. Showering, personal hygiene, that's a great positive message to be putting out into the world. Holy shit, he is summoning a kraken or some form of sea beast. I'd be giving these guys a bit more space if I was an unaffiliated beachgoer. I like that he has a girlfriend with tech skills. That's exciting, smashing stereotypes. There's another GTS and content about muscles, muscles between palm trees. Know your niche, everyone. Know your niche and deliver the goods. 
I feel bad for animals always getting sucked into our bullshit. This dog is like, why am I in a pram? Small dogs get the worst of it, don't they? This one has to wear clothes. The best part of being a dog is that you get to walk around naked all day. He knows his rights are being infringed upon here. This dog is surely asleep under those glasses. No way does it give a fuck about Valentine's Day. I don't want to sit in a tiny car in front of the pink wall, you wanker. Okay, you'll give me a treat. Okay, that's manipulative, but it does bring me to the negotiation table. Treat first, and then I hop in the stupid car. Don't pick me up. I'll do it. I'll get in the damn fucking car. Okay, okay. This one is enjoying it. My mate Supercar Blondie might have a competitor on the horizon. Fuck me dead, this fluff ball is enjoying it too. It's right in the middle of a call to action. Oh, it's doing a dance! Now it's like, check out my OnlyFans account, you can buy my bath water. Bastard is a better influencer than me. I need to learn how to dance. That's my takeaway from this exploration of online influencing. Overall, find your niche, whatever it is. Bottoms and beaches, bottoms and grass, muscles and beaches, muscles and blocking roads, contorting your body and blocking roads. I don't know what the fuck she's doing, being a merman with heat stroke, whatever is unique to you. You know, don't try too hard. The best influences are sometimes the accidental ones. Cranberry Juice Guy, Laughing Chewbacca Woman, Hide Your Pain Harold, work together if you're a boyfriend with tech skills or a girlfriend with tech skills, listen to each other, be open to feedback. You know what, be, be like this guy here, right here. He's fucking, he knows that his girlfriend wants more photos. He's filled up the entire camera roll, but he's gonna do it again because he also knows that the rewards will come soon. She'll get him a PlayStation 5 or a Gucci with this influencer money, like a, a Gucci product or a thing of value, but not if he loses his temper. At its worst, being an influencer can be associated with selfishness, narcissism, greed. At its best, it's about creating something fresh, having courage, and a shit ton of confidence. Yeah. I said it's like indie filmmaking earlier, and it kind of is. Like, here's another video. Look at this Sheila. She's like, you know what we need is some atmospheric effects. Bam! She kicks the tree, and the snow falls down. That's like Robert Rodriguez making El Mariachi or Peter Jackson making brain dead and doing all the splatter effects. That's, that's good. That's good budget filmmaking. That's it. That's it. Review done. See ya. AussieManShop.com for all your merchandise needs. You. Me. Like button. Whack.